No, I'm probably going to go over all the yay stuff tomorrow because it's so much. I have so many clips pulled up, but I, I just, I don't know. I feel like there's still a lot more I want to pull up before going over it fully because that was just an unreal three and a half hours. That I, I've watched a lot of wild interviews because I'm so big into really weird conspiracies and very odd documentaries on odd individuals. I watched a fucking like hour and a half documentary all about a guy who thought he could channel the Yayel aliens through his body. And somehow that Yay interview on InfoWars was 10 times as nutty. And yet people are trying to defend him. All of the defense of Yay seems to be people that are desperately trying not to have their. <laughs> it's so hard to like put into words. They're defending him because of how he made them feel with, like, Graduation or Dropout or, or really any of his great albums. Like, he, uh, like, undoubtedly had a huge effect on a whole lot of people. So for them to see this side of him, it's, like, incomprehensible. So they'll jump through hoops and all kinds of mental gymnastics to try and spin it like he's not awful. And what he's saying has deeper meaning, but it's not. You're finding deeper meaning in a guy who was talking to Annette on... Again, I'm not going to get deep into it tonight. I, I want to pull up a lot more, but I'll show just like a piece. Ye is very clearly not in a, in a headspace that is uh, indicative of someone mentally well. Not that that's an excuse for the things he's saying... But the people trying to derive deeper meaning from the shit he's saying, I think are way off the mark. Hold on. Where'd this go? I had it pulled up in another tab, but now it's not there. Like the amount of times he just straight up said that he likes Hitler is baffling. He said he likes Nazis. He's, verbatim, one of the things he said is, I love Jewish people and I love Nazis. And then denied the Holocaust twice. Like, it was unbearable. Yay, formerly known as Kanye West. Where is the, uh, someone posted a clip of the netting, netting stuff. And I had it pulled up, but not anymore. Like, Alex Jones multiple times had to nervously laugh it off and cut Ye off in order to stop where he was going. Alex Jones got uncomfortable. I didn't even think it was possible. I watched all three hours. It was... It was unlike anything I've ever seen. I've never seen something like that. And then, at one point, Ye passes his phone around and lets lets everyone there tweet from his account, and they shamelessly promote their own things. The people he is surrounding with are still people that are using him. Like, blatantly just using him to amplify themselves. Like, it, it, the whole fucking thing is tragic. There's no excuse for anything Ye is saying, but my god, what an absolute disaster. Where the fuck did this clip go? I mean, there's, there were so many, but now I can't find the one I had pulled up. It was in one of my other tabs. But I have so many now, I can't find it. Let me just try searching it directly. Okay, it only took two seconds by just actually searching it. <laughs> what do you have to say to Alex Jones right now, Nick Fuentes and Ye? It was bad. It was bad for Trump to meet with Nick and Ye. Okay. I had no idea your voice is going to sound like that, Netanyahu. So you and he does his little puppet show with the net multiple times with the Elmo voice. You're trying to derive deeper meaning from his blatant statements of saying, I like Hitler, the Holocaust didn't happen like that, from a guy who is very clearly in a not good space. Multiple times he does that. It's a reoccurring character in his talk. Why is he masked up? I don't know. I have no idea. I also read that that's a Balenciaga mask as well, which is even more foul given everything that's happened with Balenciaga, of which Ye absolutely knows about. It was crazy.
that whole thing, I, I never would have thought there'd ever be something like that. The entire interview. Holy shit. He's a living troll. But he's not. Like, watching this felt like I was watching an interview with an anonymous Twitter troll that just says the most shocking things to get a rise out of people. But with Ye, he believes it. And he, like, acts upon the beliefs. Go on his Twitter. Did he just tweet something? Let me see. Presidential posturing? Is that what you wanted me to see? Oh, I... Is it him driving? Because I don't have the volume on. Don't. It's a swastika. What, in his driving video? Is there a sub animaniac? No, below it. Oh, yikes. Oh. Like I said, I've got so many clips that I wanted to go over, but it's a lot for tonight and I still want to compile more. And he's still spiraling. So I'll probably talk more about it tomorrow, but holy shit. Like, holy shit. Yeah, I, I actually watched Lud's video on it just a little bit before starting stream. Jesus Christ, the A is still tweeting? Holy fuck, man. What now? He just tweeted out the swastika like fucking 20 minutes ago. How is he still tweeting? Oh my god. God loves Balenciaga. Oh no. Why? Why is he def- Oh lord. Like the second part's fine. Praying for all the innocent artists and beautiful humans who make clothing that had nothing to do with the ads. That's fine, because obviously not everyone at Balenciaga is guilty of that photo shoot. But why not just condemn the photo shoot itself? I think he's trolling. I don't know, man. It's... With Ye, it, it feels like he really believes all of it. A again, I'll go deeper on it, like, tomorrow. But holy shit. I mean, he just tweeted out a fucking swastika. Oh my god, is he still tweeting as I'm on his Twitter? Holy shit. Remove any and all forms of porn from Twitter and every platform. Pornography is the product of pedophilia. When grown men look at porn, they're watching someone's daughter relive trauma for money. The use of porn destroyed my family, but Jesus will heal everything. Dude sang about strippers and strip clubs for 10 years. I can't quite remember what he said about... I, I might misquote him here, but it was from the InfoWars thing today. I believe he said Satan made him have a threesome at New Year's Eve once. Or something like that. So him singing about strippers and everything throughout his career, I think he looks back on as like, this was the devil making me do it. That's the impression I got. That he's trying to blame the devil for everything he deems impure now. Oh, it's it's so weird. Is he doing some kind of public experiment? <sighs> Couldn't tell you. I I could not tell you. Fuck. <laughs> no, it's his real account. I I said this I said this to a buddy of mine earlier. I'll say it on stream just in case it comes true. I want to look like a prophet. I think within probably like a month or so, I think Based on the company Ye is keeping, he'll probably try and make an argument for why, like, child sex abuse is okay. Now, the reason I think he'll probably try and make that claim is because he has Milo Yiannopoulos on his team now. And Milo, whom many of you might remember, was thrown out of the public light because of him taking that stance. Milo used to say, like, well, I got, I, I had sex with a what was it his pastor or something when I was 14 and I actually think I'm all the better for it so Milo had that stance many years ago and now he's with Ye and it seems like Ye's absorbing every awful idea all at once like a sponge so I don't think we're far off from him starting to make those claims that's just a prediction it might not be the case but that I I really wouldn't be surprised you see Milo was talking shit about Kanye two to three months ago. Yeah, I, I saw all that. That was wacky. <laughs> it's not a prediction. It's a spoiler. <laughs> Maybe. It's sad, though. Like, the whole, like, 
it's not something I want to be right about. I'm just saying I could absolutely see that happen pretty soon. Boys. <laughs> hey, hey. I stayed quiet just so I could hear the boys. Oh, that's so cute. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, that's wonderful to hear. I'm hopping on. Oh yeah, I was I was going over some some goofiness, uh, some some very sad, well, really not goofy at all stuff. Honestly, catch us up to, to speed. Did you guys watch the the Yay interview? I didn't watch it, but I know I saw the clips. I've seen all the yeah all the quotes and stuff. Yeah, I was just kind of going over those. Did did you guys see any of his like uh, closing statements about? You know, the Holocaust not, not being real and shit. No, I saw That the... has to be the least uh, egregious of all the things he said on the show, <laughs> though, right? <laughs> He's, it, it, Danny, I don't even know where to begin. I'll, I've, com <laughs> I've compiled so many fucking clips from that in uh, in uh, another window. I'll probably go over all of it tomorrow. I, I couldn't stop watching it. It was three hours of the most unhinged shit I could have ever fucking imagined. We should tier list each of his ridiculously god-awful out-of-this-world takes. That'd be cool. Well, he's still going. He, he just tweeted a swastika. Like, that oh tier list... That God. The tier list would have to be, like, never We could update ending. it, like, every week. <laughs> just put it on one of the walls in the warehouse like, and keep yeah, it going. It's a live service tier list. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, oh, 24 hours. Yeah, every stream. time he says something, we walk in and we, like, hang it up on the list. Yeah, we, like, pull something down from S to put it in A as we move something above it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it could just be, like, a living tier list. Yeah, I love this. Um, I... Uh, fuck, what was I about to say? Oh, I love that, for most people, just going on that A... Just going on that show... Or going on a show wearing the outfit he wore is massive. Like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> yeah. And he, he came out with a vengeance. Like, I'm just going to ruin everything. Yeah, that was extreme. Did you guys see him talking to his uh, his net, Nedin? What? No. What so is that? He brought little props that he used to talk. So oh, he, had, Jesus. he had a tiny little net that he named Nedin. And he was like, he gave it an Elmo voice. And he's like, oh, he's... It was about the Jews. Oh, they didn't want me to do this. And then, <sighs> and then Ye would talk to it. It was so fucking unhinged. I have the clip pulled up if you guys want to see it. No, I, I think Net I got the picture. Netanyahu. It's what do you have to say? What do you have yeah, to say like, to Alex Jones just... right now, Nick Fuentes and Ye? Yeah, he's actually just yep. out of his he mind. He was bad. He was bad for trying uh. to meet with Nick and Ye. Oh yeah, I saw the picture. It's so fucking uh -huh. wild. Oh, oh wait, you're just saying it was Netanyahu. Netanyahu. Oh, Net yeah. Netanyahu. Yeah, well, because uh, okay, yeah, it's an actual person. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, that, that's right. I forgot because he had the, the the Yahoo can out as well. But Net was the one talking. I see. <laughs> yeah, I Yahoo love. played a, a back a backseat. Somebody made a tweet. With the picture of Yahoo where it first, or of Yoohoo where it first appeared. And they said, oh, Yoohoo just got the bombshell of the century without even realizing it. Yeah, yeah, just from being there. <laughs> just literally for existing. Somebody from marketing from Yoohoo had to see that and be like, why? <laughs> why is this happening? I know, I hadn't heard of Yoohoo in so long, and now it's all I'll think about is Netanyahu. <laughs> Oh, God. Now I'm really graving a yoo Now, here, let me fire up the game real quick. I'm getting a little lost back in the tangent. Oh, yeah, Alex Jones multiple times laughed at his laughed in his face and tried to, like, stop him. So, like, one time, I think it was right after he said, I like Hitler the first time, he cut him off and said, can we pull up that Reagan clip? Like, totally unrelated and just stopped his whole train. Oh, oh no. I got it wrong. The first time he said, I like Hitler, they immediately cut to a break. And then, but he kept doing it. So one of the other, <laughs> yeah, one of the other times he's like, oh, why don't we just pull up the Reagan clip? It was well, so... I those lizard fuck. people. Oh, it was so <laughs> wild. 
Alex Jones just pulls off his costume to show he is a lizard person because he can't handle what's going on. That would be the least surprising thing. Honestly, it, nobody would even pay attention to it. Yeah, that wouldn't even be front page news. Alright, I'm, hop I'm hopping in. It would be in like paragraph 14. Oh, and also Alex Jones turns out to be a lizard. Yeah, Alex Jones isn't even human. <laughs> but who cares about that? It's not even important right now. Here's Kanye saying Hitler for the 40th time. 